and welcome to the Tree Plotter demo application where you can explore the core functionality of Tree Plotter inventory. You can access this application either from your desktop or take it outside on your mobile device and map a few trees. Let's go over some of the basics. If on a tablet, these tools will look the same. But if on a phone, some of these tools will be in the menu in the upper right of your screen, like so. First, you can close and reopen this landing page by clicking this Home button in the upper left corner. You can navigate to your location on the map by clicking on the Find Your Location button or search for an address using the Where To search box in the navigation toolbar located on the left side of your map view. To add a tree, click on the Add button in the upper right corner. When the Add button is highlighted in blue, you are in Add mode. Click on the map to plot a tree and then fill out as much or as little info as you need. Commonly, in urban environments, we have similar trees in a row or next to each other. So after you add a tree, use the Load Last button in the Details form to clone the previous tree. Fill in the rest of the tree details and close out of the Details form. Now, you have successfully mapped your first two trees. When you are in Add Mode, you will plot trees every time you click on the map until you turn Add Mode off by clicking the Add button again. You will notice here, when I click the Add button again, the blue turns off and now I am out of Add Mode. Let's go back to our home extent to view a complete sample data set to use TreePlotter's other tools for analysis and exporting. I'll do that by pressing the House icon in the navigation toolbar. Now, you can visualize your data using the interactive legend to display by certain attributes and get broad stats on your inventory. One of the most powerful tools in TreePlotter is the advanced filter which allows you to isolate specific data sets by using attributes like I am here when choosing all of the sugarberry trees in good condition with a DBH range of 12 to 18 inches. You can also use the tree map filter to filter trees at a specific location by simply drawing a polygon around the trees you are trying to isolate. Using the attribute filters and the map filter allows for you to query your trees in a specialized way to fit your specific workflow. Explore more tools in the hub, like the stat section, where our responsive charts and graphs react to your live filters. And map tools, like labeling and printing your map, creating custom interactive maps using our drawing and measuring tools. You can share map scenarios to share a customized URL containing a specific map view of your application. By clicking on the data table icon in the upper left corner, you can view your data in tabular format. Export your data, manipulate your views of the table, zoom to, or delete certain records. Now, you are ready to add some trees in your neighborhood using the TreePlotter demo application. Check out our support site at support.treeplotter.com for more videos, articles, and information on the TreePlotter software suite. Contact our sales team for a personalized demo today.